with that being said, Frankie. Yeah? From the park. It's, this is not the park. No, it's not. I'm sad. It's this one weird looking park, if that's the case. No, the park is um, almost closed because it's mm -hmm. almost dark out and it's cold. It is cold out. It's just that time of year. Getting to the bee that time of year. Yeah, it sucks. It kind of does. You know, uh -huh. we get we spend a lot of time there. I know. Anyway, we've got an unboxing of sorts. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, you kind of know what's going on. Yeah. Frankie. All right. The unboxing is right here. <laughs> Check it out. This, now, you guys know we don't sell too many knives. We sell a few here and there. Here and there, yeah. Yeah. This one is currently for sale on on our on our Etsy, Etsy store. Etsy, yeah. Yeah. Look, I've even got it labeled. It's, I mean, it's packaged and ready to go. Ready to go, yep. It's only been on there for a couple of days. And we should probably do a video on it. <laughs> like, right? Well, we did not do a video on this one. Yeah. And yes, we probably should. Okay, um, I was going to skip over it completely for reasons that, uh, well... Soon will be determined. Yeah, yeah. Let's, <laughs> um, should we just go ahead and start unboxing yeah. it? What I'll tell you guys. Is? Well, what actually do you have? Uh, I'll use the steel uh, Shaula. Shaula? Are we saying that right? I'm Probably sure not. we're not. Probably not. Yeah, that's a cool knife. We did an unboxing on that just recently. And sorry guys, I don't have polish on my fingernails right now because Wipe. I just took it off. So you have to apologize for that? Yeah, because it takes a little bit of time for it to dry. So Okay, before we actually show it, show it. Okay. You, you have seen this knife, but I know you've not handled it much. Uh, no, I don't think I have actually seen it. So this is the QSP Worker. All right, this is a traditional style knife. That's um, why it's for sale. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it, it is. We're just not as much of a fan of the traditionals. It, yeah. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just not what we're into. I have to say, I carry about three traditionals every single day, though. Do you? What are you yeah. talking about? Swiss Army knives. Are those considered traditional? Yeah, I believe so, yes. Okay. I right. believe so. Yeah. Well, actually, I carry one, too, occasionally, then. All right. But this, and this is a, this is a lockback knife. All right. Yeah. Oh, you can see the packaging. This yeah, is good job. typical packaging that we would do. What's in there? Just a second. Hold your horses. No, and there's always a bird drawing in That's there, too. That's what I'm too. saying, yeah. Oh, uh, he's cute. That's one of Frankie's customs. That's mm -hmm. a Frankie custom. All right. Yeah, it is. We'll do a video on this before we actually sell it. Okay. All right. So what is this? Greeting. Thanks for I choosing like QSP knife. Hope you will enjoy it. Here are some knife specifications you may concern. Actually, you may concern? <laughs> you may concern. Let's show them that. It's awesome. <laughs> there you go, guys. You could pause there and, and read it see if you really thing. want to. This drawer style of box, I really like. I do too. Yeah. Well, and I, I feel that these are way more durable than the other kind that you have to get your fingers into. These are a lot of cardboard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, just real quick here, you guys. There you go. So, this is one of four varieties that we're going to show you. And they all come with this leather pouch. It is a nice leather pouch, actually. Let's show that real quick. It's a little detail around the stitching, too. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. It is nice. It is nice. Okay. Oh, ah, okay. Do you remember this one? No. I feel like we should do a video on this knife because I, I boxed it up and then I caught myself thinking about it. Interesting. Like, uh, it's probably still going to be for sale, but... <laughs> I, I just, like the it's, handle. It's nice. It's yeah. a nice knife. For a traditional, it's really nice. It's different. For a traditional. Yeah, it's got a nail nick. Alright, satin blades. Um, four varieties. So there's a there's an all black handle, a plain variety. That one is $76.95, and then they go up in price. This one is $84.88. I so, want to see the snake wood. Yeah, there is one called snake wood. Alright, but this one is it's a, really hard to make wood out of all snake. All snake. Is this it, one's, but somehow they've perfected it. This one is G10 and carbon fiber. All right, we just saw that in, what other knife was that? Um, it was just that, oh gosh, it was the best tech that we just had, wasn't was it? Was it the best tech, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where is it? Is it still in the box? You're not going to find it right now, it's okay. Oh my gosh, yes I will, it's right here. No, it's over there. Oh. It's right there. Over here? Yeah. Oh, right here. All right, but this is a, a carbon fiber, okay, you, you found it, yeah. <laughs> it's a carbon fiber and G10 combo, which I kind of like. Yeah. All right, the other two, she already mentioned the snake wood, and then there's a green bone. Right. Bones are not supposed to be green, by the okay. way. Okay, seventy six ninety five to eighty four eighty eight. This one being eighty four eighty eight. Hmm. 
Okay, and yes, uh, satin blade on all of them, if I didn't mention it already. Which is plenty of fingerprints already. Yep. Yeah, I'm glad we're selling it like that. Mm -hmm. It comes yeah. with the fingerprints, by the way. Yeah, it is a lockback. Okay. Is it right or left hand carry? Um, no. 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 no, it could be with the pouch though, right? Right, you can put it on your left hand side. Yeah. Or just take the, <laughs> take the clip off and throw it in your pocket. Yeah, that's true. But six, six, oh my gosh. It is three and a half inches long. Three. I wanted it to round up to six inches. What were you going with? I that? don't yeah. know. Okay. I do not know. Yeah, 3.5 inch N690 blade. So N690 kind of equivalent to VG10 or 154CM. Um, as in they are decent, non-powdered steels. Yeah. Right? Go to this one. Arthur Brem. 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 I believe he has a YouTube channel. Um, oh, does he? Out of, I, I want to say Germany. Ah. Yeah. It sounds like a German name. Brem. Yeah. Brem. If I'm saying that right, I'm sure we're not. Brem. 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 Yeah. Frankie's been to Germany a couple yeah. of times. Okay. It's on ceramic ball bearings. I was going to say, we, we talked about this briefly before we started the video. It is on ceramic ball bearings, but it doesn't need to be. No, Cause it's, not. Because a lockback is never really going to be a fidget knife. Yeah. I, I mean, could is, do that. Do you consider it smooth, like like your average flipper or thumb stud knife? It's here. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, get it out to there. And wrist whack it. Mm. You got to do a rainbow, like over mm. the rainbow a little bit more. You're going to cut me. There you go. Yeah, yeah you have to do that like half. It is on bearings for what it's worth. Um, it could be on washers and you would never know the difference is, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah, on, on this type of knife. Well, and it's probably preferred to be on washers because aren't, aren't these more tactical? Not tactical. This isn't tactical. They're more like used. You're going to have it in your, your belt while you're on your construction site. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's a traditional. It's a worker. It's yeah. the worker. It's the, the worker. Yeah. Meaning you might get it dirty. QSP, quality service price. Somebody was mentioning that's kind of a... Uh, I still like Queen Super Poon. Queen Super Poon, yeah. I it's mean, much better. In the QSP videos, you, you're always welcome to come up with, with your, your version of QSP. QSP yeah. um, how do you like the access and, and everything? It's the, good. The, the you, don't, you don't actually need the nick whatsoever. Oh, there's enough blade there on that yeah. sheep's foot blade? Yeah, there's, yeah, you don't need it. Let's show that real quick. That is a true sheep's I mean, foot blade. I can easily grab onto it. But I guess you can kind of get your finger in the nick too. To yeah, I guess you don't need the nick. You know what I mean? There's a true sheep's foot blade. Um, access and, every, and and usability on the lockback is excellent. Very smooth. Maybe a little bit of stick, but I would expect that to smooth out. Well, and overall, I actually really like the design. I just wish it was a flipper. <laughs> or a thumb stud. Yeah. I mean, I, I overall, do. You know I what like I mean? It. I really like the G10. I like this. Um, overall, um, I really like it. I just wish it was a too. completely different design. What's that? The bolster? Isn't that yeah. what it's called? Bolster? Bolsters, yep, yep. What are they? Kind of a satin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. no I a, like the color. It's color. a well constructed um, knife. It mm -hmm. is. There's the clip. We'll take a look at that. It is very deep carry. Okay. Pugs rooting around in the background. Yeah, okay. Felix, what are you doing? All right. Well, you can get these. I don't believe they're available at Amazon at the time of the filming anyway. Well, there's but, one for sale right now. Um, you can get them at um, White Mountain Knives. We'll put a link there, in for we'll that. There, we'll put your spider co in it. Oh, oh, why did I get that out? Because, because. I wanted to say with lockbacks, um, there's more than a few spider co lockbacks that I've carried. This was my most carried knife of 2014. Mm -hmm. I carried this one most of 2014. Yeah, you did. Yeah, um, this is the this is the Endura Wave. You know what I'm going to do? And the lockback. But I'm just... I'm just right behind you, don't worry. Just out of that I'm phase. Back. Okay. I'm coming back, okay? I, I didn't even get all worked up. I know. I was still talking, so you wouldn't. The, the park box was back there. The park box. The park box. Not to be confused with park box. Yeah, okay. 4.48. 4. 4. Really just kind of kind of average. Yeah. I mean, it feels... Actually, it's probably about the same as this. No, that's much lighter. Hmm. Ha ha. It's not okay. Uh -huh. One ounce. I was gonna say, how many traditionals do we have? Do we own you and I? Besides the Swiss Army knives, exclude those. If those count. I don't no, know. No, I. Um, we have this one. Check it out, guys. This was given to us. This is an Ozark Trail. Pure, authentic reindeer set. It's a gift case. Yeah. 
pure reindeers. Is it a traditional? It's not even a traditional. No, it's not. <laughs> Let me see. It's a liner lock. Oh shoot. Okay. I, so we don't even have one. Um. We might have a another Walmart shoot. knife that is a traditional. Don't um, try and find it. It's fine. It's fine. No. I thought that one was. Yeah, okay. And this is. This is just a. It's just a non-locking. Non -locking, it's, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well. I was gonna say we have about as many traditionals as we do ballast songs. Just like that. Well, that one's pretty sweet. Frankie, can you match the moves? That's pretty sweet. Got skills, yo. I have been practicing. Okay. We have BRS knives, and BRS makes yeah. the best. I know songs. we have to have one traditional out there. No, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry okay. About it. If you can find it, we'll put a clip in after this. Okay. But I will anyway, try. this is the worker. We did a video on it. I don't feel bad now. Yeah, we're, it is really cool, actually. I do like the design of it. I don't think we're going to keep it. Maybe we should just because we don't have one, but I don't know. I already put it up for sale, and somebody's got it in their cart. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well. So. All right. Well, anyway, this will probably be gone, but you can get them at White Mountain Knives. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Possibly Amazon in the future. You almost dropped it on my hand. Sh shut up. It would have completely cut off my hand. No, it would have been. It would have landed like... No, it would have it, it would have cut off my fingers. Sheep's foot safety. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye. Well, speaking of Germany, this was the first knife that I ever bought. It was in 1997. Wow. Yeah, I know. So we do have a traditional in Germany. Is that uh, is that locking or just non? Is it non locking? Oh, it's not locking. Okay. Well, let me see that. Deploy some stuff. Deploy that. And then that. And you got this that. in Germany and brought yes. it home? Uh -huh. Oh, this was probably before regulations. and. Uh, yeah, it was in 1997. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is incredibly light. I will say, it weighs nothing. Here, get the get the scale out. we got to check that. Okay. Yeah. This, this weighs nothing. I think we've had this on video before. I think so. Because um, people have said about it. Because it's a Solinger. Solinger. Richard's Solinger. Okay. What's the weight? I'm in anticipation. Yeah, that's nothing, guys. Mm -hmm. Dang. Okay. It's an absolute feather. That was your first knife? Yep. Frankie's first knife. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bonus. I actually bought it by myself before I even met you, so I nice. bought knives way she before was, you. She was already into knives. I was. Yeah. I yeah. always have been. Well, I think you got, that was your first, but I think you got one or two more even uh, after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've gotten a few after that. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, before you met me. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think you had a couple of knives already. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's repackage this one. Okay. This one will stay in the collection. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it All has right. to. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us.